To understand dynamic spectrum access, you have to have an idea of what is radio spectrum. So if I were to write two messages over top of each other, they're sharing the exact same area, but they're differentiated in color so I can recover both messages. In a similar way, the radio spectrum is shared by everyone, but people use different frequencies. Um, so if you share the same frequency, like if those two words had been in the same color, it would overlap and it would destroy the information. So when you have a radio, you tune between frequencies to filter out that information you don't want to receive. Who can use what frequency is set up by the government and it's allocated. So for example, AM radio can only lie in a certain band shown here. There's no other use of that uh, radio spectrum except for AM broadcasts. What's of more interest to us is this frequency band down here where a lot of high data rate stuff occurs. So if we zoom in, we know it's very crowded and that's because there's a lot of potential users for it. In the city, you might see more people like people with cell phones and more TV broadcast stations. But out in the country, even though it's the same allocation, there won't be as many users. So what this opens up is the idea of dynamic spectrum access, where you sense where radio is not being used, and you use that spectrum to get even more available to you. You have to be careful to not only avoid those people that are destined to use the spectrum, but other users doing dynamic access. So for example, taking an analogy from shipping, there's a phenomenon known as radar-assisted collisions, which occurred when radar first came out. This ship, the Andrea Doria, was subject to it. So if there's a ship without radar and a ship with radar, the ship with radar can dart in between them safely because the other ships can't see it in dense fog. But two ships with radar might steer into each other because they're both trying to avoid a collision. So there's a lot of challenges in dynamic spectrum access, but if we can successfully master the technical and governmental and regulatory challenges, there's a real opportunity here to open up a huge range of products for the future use of this radio and to let us get these high data rate applications our world demand.